everybody, it's Sarah from the Style Blog. Today I'm going to show you three quick and easy ways to get the perfect winged liner every single time. Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Okay, first method, all you need is some tape and your regular eyeliner. Okay, so I'm just using Scotch household tape. You can use any type of tape you want. I'm just going to cut off a little piece here. Okay, so the trick is you want to angle the tape between the corner of your eye here and your eyebrow tail. If you're not sure where that should be, just take something straight, line it up with your nostril and the corner of your eye, and that's where your eyebrow tail should end. So you kind of just want it angled right there. So I'm just going to put this on. Okay, and we're ready. <laughs> okay, and you can absolutely use any type of liner you want for this. You can use a pot liner, or you can use a pen liner, you can use pencil, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Inglot pot liner here and dip my brush in. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and line my eye just like I normally would. Okay, so I just drew a nice line across the top of my lid here, and let's take off the tape to reveal the perfect liner. <laughs> okay, here we go. Perfecto. Can you see that? Let me zoom in even closer so you can see this perfect winged liner. Can you see how this tape caught the messiness of it so that it just made the perfect liner? It's my favorite trick ever. <laughs> amazing. So you can either do this before you have your face makeup on. You see how it kind of pulled my face makeup off a little bit, or you can just go back with a concealer after you peel this off, but it will kind of pull your foundation concealer off a little bit. Okay. For the second method, you're going to need some cotton swabs and just your regular eyeliner. Okay. So I have my Q-tip and my pin eyeliner. Again, just like the last method, you can use any type of eyeliner you like for this. Okay. So I'm just going to draw on my wings liner just like normal and I'm going to try my best to get it perfect, but it's never actually perfect. So I'm going to show you how to get it perfect afterward. <laughs> As you can see, I like to start at the inner corner of my eye, draw a thin little line, wing it out a little bit, and then grab the corner and sort of fill this part in. I think it looks pretty good, but it's obviously not perfect, and we want it to be perfect. <laughs> okay, so here's where our little cotton swab comes in handy. You're going to wet one end of it. You can use makeup remover. If we're being totally honest here, I usually just use my saliva, but makeup remover will work as well. Okay. And I'm just going to take this and run it along the bottom side of my wing here until it's perfect. Again, we want our wing to go from the corner of our eye to the tail of our eyebrow. Okay, so I hope you can see how that kind of just cleaned up the bottom edge of this wing and it made it nice and sharp here. I just cleaned up the bottom edge and as you can see, it kind of pulls the liner up my eyelid. So I'm just going to take the clean side of this and wipe that. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with just a flat brush and some concealer and just make sure that this line is all clean. All right. I'm going to zoom in closely here so you can see the perfect line. <laughs> okay. And lastly, our third method, all you need is a set of winged eyeliner stamps. P.S. Everything is always linked below in the description. Okay, I switched sides on you to give that eye a little bit of a break. So I have my winged liner stamps. Got these on Amazon. I have been a big fan of these if you've been watching my videos recently. So I'm just going to take my left eye stamp and do this eye. So I first take the stamp end. And again, like the last two methods, we want the liner to line up between the corner of our eye and the end of our brow here. So I just make sure that I line the stamp up that way and then stamp it on. I like to be careful not to blink until it dries all the way. Okay, can you see that? It's just a little wing for our liner. So on the other end of the pin is this just little regular felt tip pin here, and I'm just gonna connect it to the wing. So I like to start at the inner corner and kind of connect it with a thin line and then go in and grab the top portion and pull it backward. I have an entire video about this liner if you wanna see it super in depth. Okay. 
Okay, I feel like the stamp might even be the easiest one. I don't know, they're all so quick and easy. I kind of rotate between these three all the time. I'm gonna zoom in even closer now so you can see the stamp one up close. Okay, so I'm gonna go put on mascara really quickly and show you what the finished look actually looks like. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you try these, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.